Hi there, another video with Nick. Hi Nick. Hi. Uh, I won't ask you anything about jet lags and Sydney and so on. Uh, let's go into your next uh, Jira technology add-on. Uh, easy Agile Roadmaps for Jira. What is it? Okay, so uh, like I mentioned before, there were a number of activities that I needed to do at Twitter uh, that would have been a lot easier if I'd had a tool to do them with. And one of them was the practice of road mapping. Product managers at Twitter across the company were creating, I mean, they were drawing stuff on the wall and taking photos of it. They were doing PowerPoint documents, keynote documents. They were using glyphy diagrams and confluence. But none of this stuff, none of these roadmaps were related in any way to the work that was actually going on in but Jira. Do I need roadmaps in Agile at all? Sure. But this is like a determinism. It's trying to predict the future and it's like, ah. Uh, it gives you somewhere to head towards. Um, you know, like agile is not the absence of planning, right? Agile, agile is is flexibility and the ability to respond to changing circumstances. I could let me play devil's advocate. Like, yeah. um, we should ban uh, the word planning and replace it with a couple of other words, which is much easier in uh, in English than in German. For example, being prepared could mm -hmm. be something that you so. Why in an agile word do I need a roadmap? Oh, I think you, you need to have a sense of the journey that you're taking your customer on. Mm -hmm. Like where am I going over the next three to six months, right? And not just where are you taking the customer because you, you want to understand what's the evolution of your product, but where are we going from an architectural perspective? Like are there, I'm not saying that you need to scale in advance, like mm -hmm. you don't want to scale before it makes sense, but are there just some things that we might want to take advantage of and, and do that from day one, which we're going to leverage in three to six months time. I fully agree that for uh, Twitter and Atlassian, this has been like a big portion of your daily work to, to just find out what are you trying to achieve like tomorrow. Um, how does that uh, work in Jira with your product? Okay. So the best way to plan a product roadmap and keep stakeholders in the loop is the, your tagline kind yeah. of here I read. So this is this is a brand new product. We released this product about a month ago and we have seen a tremendous amount of interest in it. There are a lot of teams that want to have a way to capture and share and communicate a roadmap. So they want to mm -hmm. capture the roadmap with the team, they want to share it with their stakeholders, internal and external, um, and they want to make sure that they're communicating it clearly, especially when things update on that roadmap. Because the roadmap is not, like it's not set in stone, right? Yeah. It's, it, it, so it, that's something that makes it, it agile that you can change it, right? Absolutely. Look, if we go and have a look at this, you know, this is a very simple roadmap. Again, we'll stick with the uh, the Apple TV. But let's say that I decide to spend a bit more time on onboarding. Okay, I can I can drag that and I can shuffle out buying a movie and until that's, late September. That's epics. These are epics again, yeah. So mm -hmm. these are the same epics that we looked at on the story map. Yeah, okay. I can create a different theme. You know, we we looked theme at theme is a prof uh, above an epic, right? A uh, theme is, it, it's, think of it here as a category, a yeah. category or collection, something yeah, like uh -huh. that. And so we created a customer support epic last time and we might just say that... So, uh, sorry for yeah. interrupting all the time. No. Like the, I'm always trying to think out of the lenses of a waterfall manager. This is okay. my new Gantt chart This tool, is right? not your new Gantt chart tool. This is so, absolutely so why not. not? This, why not? Um, well, people, people love Gantt charts. Do they? Yeah, they do. My goodness. It's, uh, uh, they suck. And I, I do think that You said it, not me. I'm just surprised that they love Gantt charts. Oh, I'm, I'm, uh, we, we could look it up. There are like multiple Gantt chart tools out there. Yeah. And they, uh, they thrive. Yeah. It's, it's for those waterfall people. Yep. who have to move or who deliberately want to move into the agile world but not lose all of their uh, yesterday's methodology. Um, and there are tools that will sync automatically and to, like the scan chart is always outdated as soon as you put it on the slide, right? Mm. Like when you, when you give it to your CEO, it's already... It's already out of date. Yeah, obsolete. And... Um, now, this at least from a Gantt chart perspective has the month and the duration of my stuff. So it's Grand. at least similar. <laughs> but if you, so you, you talk about Gantt chart, I think about roadmap. Like on my roadmap, what are the big chunks of work yeah. that I'm gonna do? They're like my boulders, right? 
and I break my boulders down into my rocks, which okay. are my user stories. And I can break my rocks down into pebbles, which are my acceptance criteria. Mm -hmm. And so there are these different levels of granularity. And, and I, I, as a product manager, I want to know how am I sequencing my big chunks of work yeah. over the coming you know, three to six to maybe to 12 months. I would say the gun chart people would subscribe to the exact same thing. It's mm -hmm. uh, maybe just the transition thing. But I think if you look at a Gantt chart, the Gantt chart, they're generally looking at the rocks and the pebbles. On yeah, the yeah. and then you have the sequences That's and then right. you have the how minimal path yeah. thing. And, and, and I, and I, I fully agree yeah. that Gantt charts have a lot of things in them that are um, representing this deterministic world that mm. this one will not, not have. Um, That's right. At the same time, uh, maybe we can have a higher segmentation, let's call it calendaring or something, yep. where you just want a representation of your work in Over. time. Yep. And um, that's probably the, the reason why those CEOs get presented uh, those Gantt charts, just so they know when someone's trying to do uh, what. Okay. Okay, so um, this is only visualization. What, it, what does it do? Like, does it manipulate something in the Epic as well if you move these things around? Yeah, we, you, know, you, can, you can change this, this time frame of mm -hmm. a particular issue, a particular Epic, to show how long you think it's going to take. Will I see that uh, from within the issue? Uh, no, today you won't actually. Okay. So that visualization only is mm -hmm. only on the roadmap today. Can I zoom in and out here? Yeah, we're zoomed out at the moment looking at on ah, a quarter yeah, by quarter okay. basis, Sorry. but we can go into to yeah. months uh -huh. and look at it on a month to month basis if we wanted to as well. Um, I think those themes are really important. Like if you look at if you look at a larger group, they'll generally have themes might be one or two teams. Mm -hmm. Themes might be, you know, I might even have themes a, a theme for each of my groups. And so there might be three or four teams worth of work going on in any given uh, theme swim lane. And you have never been approached by any of your customer about this Gantt chart thing with that? I, 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 it, is, it appears to me as if I was the first guy comparing that uh, to Gantt charts with you right now. I, 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 you, you say Gantt chart and I kind of like recoil in horror. Like I've, <laughs> I've never even used a Gantt chart. I've but still, worked but still you're trying to, to add value for your customers, right? Absolutely. And if they think this is a Gantt chart on steroids, good for you. Okay, by you all know. means. I mean, this, this came out of conversations with our story mapping customers. Mm -hmm. So our story mapping customers were asking us, okay, well, we've got the story map, but we want to have this long-term, like, we want to have this long-term horizon. Mm -hmm. How are we going to sequence the work, not over the next, you know, sprint version, whatever, but over the next six or 12 months? And they were trying Do to... You know, what I think would be, sorry yeah. for interrupting. No, go ahead. Um, would, be very, it would be very interesting, in my opinion, is if you got an opportunity for customers to somehow take a screenshot or export a, a screen here and share this with um, other customers. Like how oh, do yeah. they, yeah. maybe they so will be... Uh, one, of, one of my big intents with this, it, it, notifications in Jira can be a bit of a nightmare, right? Because mm -hmm. it's a very blunt tool. The project administrator sets the notifications and yeah. anyone that's part of that just lives by it. Um, what I'd prefer to see is that people have a bit more flexibility on the notifications. And like a Confluence page, I can subscribe to updates to the roadmap. Oh, okay. How, I, how do I do that? Oh, you, you don't do that. This is, okay, this, this, is is roll, this is roadmap. Yeah. <laughs> this, roadmap that's on the roadmap, roadmap. yeah. yeah okay. um, so in fact, one of the things that I've been working on with your team while I've been here in Germany is the visualization of versions. Mm -hmm. And what does the visualization of versions look like on the roadmap? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I think that's really exciting for me, but um, Keeping people in the loop and keeping stakeholders in the loop and allowing them to subscribe themselves because hey, I want to watch this. Like you're a project, you're a product manager on one team, mm -hmm. and I'm a product manager on a dependent team. That's awesome. I, I want to I watch like your roadmap to know when things change. Let me go back to my waterfall, and I, mm. I, uh, I should invite you to a customer call that I'm going to have in an hour from now. Okay. And they are they are all in this Gantt world. It's it's not all that. Like, um, well, I'll learn uh, something for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all German. Um, I, I really would like this feature as a customer, mm -hmm. or I, I assume the customers would like that, because it's kind of, let me, let me stay in this Gantt world, right? Yeah. You present this slide to me where you say, this is the month when we're going to start working on this. Yep. And this is the Q1 
quarter that we're going to finish that. Yep. And um, now, if I'm a smart guy, and I assume most CEOs are smart, they will know what you're telling me here is already obsolete. It's just like your last best guess yes. on how it's going to be, which is okay, so present it to me. Um, but if I'm really interested, I would want to subscribe to that and mm. see how the team like just yeah. moves away and say, okay, now that the CEO has his chart, let's make this real again. And, uh, <laughs> um, then I would want to That's subscribe to that and see. Um, uh, I could subscribe to that and see how everything moves, especially if I'm in marketing. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, definitely. In I, I, I would want to know, oh, shoot, it, yeah. <laughs> it just uh, yeah, wrecked we, my we, marketing plan. We were talking about that earlier today, weren't we? You know, the, the intersection of product management and product marketing management and how do we make sure that we align these two? Yeah. And, it's, and it's very much a matter of, you know, if we keep any change we make to the roadmap, marketing is in the loop. It's, it's a little overlap with um, conference calendars as well, right? Conference yes. calendars tries to achieve something similar. Yes. N not, not that much of like roadmap planning, but well, more that's, that that's... I, I can put a specific epic or issue in a calendar and... Uh, well, that's one of the things, so, you know, I mentioned that at Twitter, we were trying, we like, product managers took every approach imaginable to try and build a roadmap. One of the things that they would do is they would have start and end dates on epics and they would put it on a Confluence calendar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was so janky, right? Yeah. Because you couldn't go there and resize it and, you know, it was just... I can't... It was, it was horrendous, right? Um, because it was using, it was using a sledgehammer for, you know, fine marble sculpting. It just wasn't yeah. the right tool for the job. And that's what we focus on with our products, right? We have very specific customers that we understand, like the customer for this is the product manager and the internal stakeholder. Does that mean that your tools have to be somewhat expensive to serve this niche market that you're looking at? Potentially, yeah. I, I don't know. I, 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 don't know. I, didn't, I didn't look at pricing. Uh, uh, pr pricing for the road mapping add-on is the same as it is for the story mapping okay. add-on. Um, Which is kind of like half of what Jira costs or something. Half, like of, yeah. half of Jira, yeah. yeah. Well, it's the same as Jira software, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I, you know, if I think about the value that we provide to the teams that use this, there's, there's this cost of miscommunication that's never captured. It's mm. like the cost of pollution that's never captured unless you obviously have a cap and charge system. Mm -hmm. You know, it, the emissions go in the air, but you never, you never capture how much did that cost us as a society. Yeah. And there's all this lost time and waste across organizations, throughout organizations across the world. And with these tools, like what I had at Twitter, um, this just makes life so much easier. Give me that two or three sentence elevator pitch for the real Jira Pro, someone who's very into that and wants, why should they check out roadmaps? This, uh, easy Agile roadmaps for Jira is the best way for a product manager to communicate their vision of the product and how they deliver that vision over time. Okay. It's the best and easiest way to communicate that vision. Okay, and then uh, now it's my turn again for the waterfall uh, mm -hmm. manager. Um, if you're stuck in Gantt charts, uh, I would highly recommend you to try out with an agile team that you have um, uh, this road mapping tool because it's probably way more uh, flexible and uh, better aligned with how the agile team ticks. Um, instead of trying to use one of these, in my, in my opinion, sometimes silly use cases for trying to suck a Gantt chart out of an agile team that's using Jira. And it's just like you're yeah. stay, still living in this old world, yeah. um, trying to popula uh, use Jira to populate your Gantt chart automatically, but it's, it's, a, it's a paradigm shift. It's like a total it, paradigm shift, yeah. yeah. And if you, uh, this is probably the thing you should be looking at if you really want to make this agile team work agile and perform in a way that you probably expect them to do. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for this attraction. Let's hope that this one month old thing will strive as the other did. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're keeping our fingers crossed. Oh, yeah, mate. And the feedback so far is fantastic. Uh, by the way, like we do in Germany, we we hold on, holding our thumbs. But I I learned that. Oh, you cross keeping, your toes. Yeah, 
he or your keeping, keeping fingers crossed yeah. is is, uh, is the same. You don't say holding. Your yeah, you don't thread. say holding your your thumb thread, your thumbs. No. Thumbs, yeah, that's what no. we say in German. No, you you, can, you, you cr- cross fingers, fingers crossed. Is, fingers crossed. Yeah. yeah, no, that's that's yeah. not available in German. Dude, I don't need luck. I'm confident. I know my <laughs> customers. All right. Okay, so um, uh, I'll s- still keep my fingers crossed. Thank you, Sharon. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>